in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to take the signals that um, I do send out on the group, okay, on the platform. And um, I want to take one of the signals I sent this morning as an example, which is um, let's use the um, what's it called? Let me use one of the signals I sent. Okay. Uh, let me use let me use the ARPA um, since that is the signal you took. Let me use the ARPA signal. Um, where's that signal? Okay. All right. So I have the signal here. Now, what the signal said is that the entry. Okay. I gave you the option for entering the signal, which is with market price. And then the leverage I recommended is 10x leverage. Okay, I personally use cross. So whenever you see cross margin, it means that you need to use cross. Um, it's not a must. You can use isolated. Most especially for those of you who have smaller capital, use isolated mode. But I personally use cross. That is why you always see cross there. And then the target of your take profit, and then there is a, a, a level of stop loss. Please help me mute yourselves, okay? So there is a level where you can take your stop loss, where you can set your stop loss, and then there is a target for take profit. Okay. So what I will now do is here on the Bybit Exchange, I'm using the web version. It is the same thing on the phone if you are using the app. Once you go to derivatives, you want to go to perpetual, okay? USDT perpetual, select anyone you want it. Now on this tab, when you are using the web version, I want to click here. This is the coin that I'm currently seeing right now. The chart I'm looking at is for this coin. So if I hover over it, it brings up this dialog box for me. So I'm going to search for that particular token, which is the ARPA. Okay. So the ARPA um, USDT, that is the one we're going to select. Click on it and that will select that. Okay. So now once you select it, all right, the next thing you want to do is on this column here this is where your focus is this is the trading option now if you are using the app you know that there is a column for i've done a step-by-step -step video on how to use the bybit app i will publish that video soon so uh, on on the right or the left column you see the chart option and then when you go to the right option it gives you the trade so here this is what we we'll see here right so you want to focus on the trading um, option here so the first thing here is to set your margin and your leverage once you select a token that I have sent the signal for and you want to trade it, the first thing you want to do is to set your margin and the leverage. So if I go ahead and click on this, we are using, I am personally using cross margin, but I always recommend you use isolated because even when I send stop loss, those of you who have a um, strong head, you don't put stop loss because you don't want to lose money at all. And at the end of the day, you get liquidated. Now, when you, in the case where you get liquidated, what if you are using cross mode, you are going to lose the whole of your account. For instance, if you have a $1,000 on your account and then you allow your trade to be liquidated, you will lose that $1,000. Even if it is only $100 you used to enter that trade, even if it is only $50 you used to enter that trade, in as much as you are using cross margin, you will lose, okay? You are risking the whole of your account balance, okay? Your trading capital on that um, um, particular token. But when you use isolated, even if I have a $1,000 and I decided to enter a trade with $50, it means that if I don't put stop loss and I get liquidated, I'm only losing that $50, all right? That is why I always recommend you set this. After that, the next thing is to select the leverage. Now, for this particular um, token, on the Bybit exchange, the highest leverage you can go, depending on your account, okay, the highest leverage you can go is 12x leverage for this particular token, right? So you can go ahead and select, but I like using 10x leverage. And then after that, go ahead and click on confirm. And that is set up, right? That is automatically set up. Now, the next thing after setting your margin and then the leverage is to check the token that I sent. What did I say? What are the conditions for entering? Okay. We have limit, we have market, and then we have conditional. But in this particular signal, it says enter with market order. So you want to change, okay, from limit to market. On your app, if you see where it says limit, click on the arrow pointing down. It will give you an option to select market. So go ahead and select market. All right. When you select market, it means that if I enter the trade right now, it is going to enter with the current market price. 
it is going to enter with the current market price then if it is limit if i say use limit you will not type the entering price that i've sent to you okay i think one of those signals says enter with limit order which is the bell uh, it has not triggered yet i don't i'm not sure yet it has not it has not triggered so this is where you are going to enter if i say limit select limit option and then enter the entering price here but if it is market it means that i'm asking you to enter at that current price that is why if you see my signal late all right maybe 30 minutes one hour after i've sent the signal you don't need to enter it again except you want to analyze the market on your own and see if there is still opportunity but if you want to depend solely on the signal okay once it is market order and it has taken a lot of time don't enter the trade again but when you look at the chart and you decide to enter it is all on you okay so now when we select market order the next thing is i always recommend you use 10 percent of your capital right now this is where the problem comes when you are using 10 percent of your capital for those of you who have 100 dollars 50 dollars and you know less capital on your trading account Remember that when you use 10% of $100, it is going to cost you, what is 10% of $100? That should be around $10 or thereabout, right? It means that imagine for entering a trade will only be $10. So if that trade ends up going 20%, 100%, 200%, you are making 20, 100% of that particular margin you are risking in that trade. Okay? Not for your $100 which you have on your trading capital. It is only for that margin. But... Another thing I can recommend is if you have a $100, okay, if you have a $100 account, all you can do is to enter with 100% of your capital if you are comfortable doing that, okay? I am not saying it is a must. If you are comfortable doing that, you can enter with 100% of your capital. That is for those of you who have smaller account, anything from $100 below. Now, what you now do is to set your stop loss and know that, okay, this $100 that I'm risking, I'm only ready to lose five dollars or ten dollars depending on where your stop loss is all right so you go ahead and select if i select ten percent of my um trading capital whatever trading capital i have on my balance right now if i select ten percent here where it says value this is what is going to cost me okay this is the value of what i'm trading but because i'm using 10x leverage it will only cost me 65 dollars to enter this trade okay so it only cost me 65 dollars to enter this trade so if you have 100 dollars in your account and you're using 10 percent of your account you will see what it will cost you here. if it is two dollars if it is three dollars if it is four dollars whatever it will cost you you will see it here all right so um i will always recommend that you make it up to let's say um ten dollars at least to start with okay you can start if you have hundred dollars instead of just using ten percent make it at least ten dollars right now how do you do that if i select 10 percent, which is the um you know percentage option that bybit is giving you here you, you will see the number the quantity of this particular token is about seven thousand all right now if i want to make this to be round figure of around a hundred dollar i can go ahead, instead of using 10 percent, i can go ahead now that i have an idea of what 10 percent will give me i can go ahead and type that i want to trade or i want to buy ten thousand of this token all right so once i type ten thousand here instead of using the percentage slider here you see that it is giving me 92 it's going to cost me 92 dollars all right i can continue to add this let's say i make it 11,000. 11,000 will cost me around 102 dollars to enter that trade so if that if you're okay with that you go ahead now what did the trade say short okay the trade say go short so it means that you are going to open um short here so if i enter open this short here this trade will be triggered immediately now the next thing you want to do before you open that trade is to set take profit and stop loss this is a very powerful tool i saw somebody saying i have been liquidated many times and the rest but you go ahead and click on the set take profit okay take profit and stop loss now when you click on the set take profit and stop loss you want to set either for a long position or for a short position because we are shorting since we are shorting what we do is to open the short position option now, since we are shorting, I'll go ahead and click on the short option, okay? So, now you will not enter the take profit price which I gave you. So, if I go back to that signal, let's go and see what the take profit there was. Okay, so the target is 0 0.06324, okay? So, you will not enter that take profit option here, which is 0 0.06324. 
all right so when i enter this um, um take profit level here what this uh buy bid is letting you know is that once this price okay once the market um it reaches this um 300 uh okay this is the profit you are going to make but the return will be around 300 percent okay so uh israel if you have uh, waited for that trade okay to hit take profit level assuming you were waiting for it to hit take profit level it means that when you hit take profit you would have made 300 percent now remember this is because i'm using a 10x leverage okay this is because i am using a 10x leverage if i was to, supposed to use like 50x leverage it means that the price will not even get here maybe around 65 or thereabout i would have gotten a hundred percent or 200 percent or 300 percent return on that okay but the fact that i gave you where to set take profit doesn't mean that you must wait till thy kingdom come for you to take profit just like Israel said this morning that she, she doesn't want to be greedy, okay? You don't need to wait till thy kingdom come that it must hit or take profit. If you must do that, please use the option called trailing stop, okay? If you must wait till thy kingdom come for your trade to enter profit, please use the option called trailing stop or you can start adjusting your stop loss once the trade is in profit one after the other. All right, you can start adjusting it bit by bit and step by step and all of that. So once you put that here, the next thing is to put the the stop loss level and the stop loss is at um, um, 11 cent, okay, 0 0.11140. So you go ahead and put that price here, 0 0.11140, okay? Now, what you see here is that if this market goes against us and it hits our stop loss okay if this market goes against us uh let me bring this up a bit so we can see it so what you are seeing right here the calculation by bid is making here is that if this market goes against us now remember it cost me only hundred dollar to enter that trade but right here you see that i'm going to lose over two hundred dollars why is that because i am using cross margin okay because i am using cross margin that is why i can lose 200 dollars all right now one thing i can do is i may not wait until this price get to this level if once i notice that the market is going against me seriously i can only risk like you know with the trading capital i have right now i can only sacrifice 50 to 60 dollars okay 50 to 60 dollars that is basically it and now because the market is very volatile i have to watch the chart to make sure that this doesn't get here because if it gets here i'm going to lose 200 dollars but if it goes in my favor and it hits the take profit level i'm going to make 300 dollars okay this is um just basically how you calculate this and after that you go ahead and click on confirm okay now when you click on confirm the next thing is to open the short option so we have open long and open short since we are shorting we just go ahead and open short okay um i'm not going to open short because i'm not sure if the market will continue to go down right now all right so once you click on open short just go ahead and click on confirm once you confirm that is already triggered okay that trade is automatically triggered and you'll be watching it okay now when you start going down um if you are okay remember the first day i told us to always set a target for yourself if your target is to make 10% or 1% or 20% of your trading capital, now when you are setting this target, the target must always be very realistic, okay? Not because you have a thousand dollars, you want to double it every day. It is possible that you can double that, okay? But let us be real with ourselves. I want to make 10%. If I make 10% for 10 times in a month of my trading capital, it will be enough to pay part of my bills. That is what we are looking at okay so if your aim is to make ten dollars every day if your aim is to make twenty dollars every day if your aim is to make forty dollars every day for instance that screenshot you shared israel please do me a favor by muting yourself okay so that we don't get distracted all right so for instance the trade that israel said um shared this morning which was around 40 percent if you were risking hundred dollars in that trade and you are using a 10x leverage it means that she would have made 40 dollars from that trade 
okay it's as simple as that it means that you would have made 40 dollars on that trade so now when you set a target that you want to make 100 dollars or 10 dollars or five dollars every day once the trades start going in your favor and it's already plus 20 percent or thereabout and you don't want to close the trade what you can do now is to start adjusting you can now move your entering price or your stop loss to the entering price so that in case the trade goes against you, you are not losing completely. Or you can now start adjusting the stop loss, okay, until it gets to the level where you are satisfied, all right? That is, if you don't even want to use the trailing stop option, you can start adjusting your stop loss manually, okay? So let's assume I entered the trade somewhere around there, and then the market, and then my stop loss is somewhere up there, okay? And then the market now dropped to this level. What I can do, instead of leaving my stop loss or at the top here i can now come and adjust the stop loss to come in here okay now when it comes in here remember my entering is here when it comes in here even if this market goes against me and hit this stop loss i will still be in profit right i will still be in profit we'll look at that in a separate video but this is just how to take the signals that i do send out every day so if it is open long open long if it is open short open short if it is limit order use limit order if it is market order use market order 